Guess who's back? It's your boy, PJ the Paradox Nerd, back again with another statue unboxing and review. And today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Sideshow Collectibles Quarter Scale Jean Grey. Yo, let's do this. I'm back. Let's go. What's up guys? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So it's been a while since I did a statue unboxing and review. I believe the last time I did one was around October or November last year. And I believe it was either the Juggernaut or the Saitama. I'm not sure which one. But yeah, it's been a minute and it feels good to be back uh, doing what I love doing. And that is putting out the best content for you guys and also unboxing and reviewing these awesome collectibles. So um, without further ado, let's go into the actual unboxing itself. Uh, but before I do that, I want to go over the box art. And as you can see, this box art is pretty, pretty dope. As you can see, it has like uh, the Jean Grey theme colors all around the box. You have like this pink uh, flamish cloud all around her. You got a picture of Jean Grey here in the front. On the sides, you can see there's like all this like yellow gold uh, color all around, which kind of matches her outfit, which is pretty cool. And I want to point out that there is an X-Men logo on the top of the box. So let's go unbox this bad girl. <laughs> And the moment of truth, guys. The new statue smell. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you guys how everything was packaged inside the box. As you can see, everything's packaged really well. You can see the base is here in the bottom. You've got the body, the two head sculpts, and on the side right here are to swap out hands. All right, let's put her together. All right, so let's start off with the base and Wow, the paint application on this base looks pretty damn dope. I'm liking it. Okay, so let's check out the number I have, and that is 736 out of a thousand. That looks pretty good. Put that there. I'm gonna take out the, the body. And this body is pretty light. This looks really nice, guys. Wow. Amazing. Okay, I believe this key's in right here. Bam! <laughs> All righty. All right, let me turn her around like this so you guys can enjoy the the view. Um, let's do the exclusive head because it's my least favorite head. And I'll put that on first. Oh, this is the collector's edition. Some of that clear resin on this flame. All right, let's put this one in next. Oh, wow. That looks really good, guys. All right, 
Let's find her exclusive hands with the flames. There's one. Okay, that came in pretty, pretty nicely. And let's put this one next. And there she is, the exclusive version with the flames. I guess this is when she's about to transform into the Phoenix. Yeah, that looks really good, guys. All right, so let's put the collector's edition um, head sculpt. Let's take this one out. Take this head, the collector's edition head. Oh my gosh, guys, this portrait is beautiful. Seriously, Sideshow really kills it with these female portraits. They've been doing a phenomenal job with all the female portraits that they have been uh, releasing recently. Wow, damn, that is dope. Whew. All right, let me swap out the hands. But to be honest, I could probably leave these hands and put it, uh, you know, with the, uh, the collector's edition portrait, and it'll, it'll look fine. But yeah, let's let's take these out. All right. Bam! Okay, the left hand doesn't key in as quickly as the exclusive hand, but it looks fine. Wow, guys. Sideshow is seriously killing it with this X-Men line. Holy damn. This looks so good, guys. Wow. I am so glad I picked her up. All right, so um, I'm gonna kind of dissect this uh, statue and come back with the actual review of Jean Grey. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's do some measurements before we jump into the review. And uh, let's see how tall Jean Grey is. She is about 21 inches tall. Her base is about 12 to 13 inches deep. And the width of her base is about seven to eight inches wide. So a fairly small statue, but not really. All right, so let's dive into the actual review of this statue and let's start off with the base here. As you can see, this base looks dope. You can see like the pink flames coming off from the snowy ground and kind of wrapping around her right leg here. I really love the paint application on the pink flames. It looks really, really good. And I really love the sculpt of like that snowy ground. And I do want to mention this snowy ground actually matches with Cyclops snowy ground and Sabretooth. So kind of wonder how, if you had all three of them together, how that scene will look like. I'm pretty sure it will look really good. And uh, before we move up towards the, the actual anatomy and the body of this statue, I do want to mention that this statue was sculpted by uh, Mark Newman. He also sculpted um, Cyclops. So you can see, uh, why they probably wanted him to sculpt both uh, characters so they would match really good. All right, so let's move on to the actual body of, uh, of Jean Grey. As you can see, the anatomy looks amazing. I really love the paint application on her suit or on her costume. As you can see, it has like that Jim Lee classic X-Men look. Um, I love the pose, it, it like, reeks Jean Grey because that's how she you know she poses whenever she does like her, her her mutant power so really digging it I really love it uh, as we move up towards her head sculpt as you can see her head sculpt or her portrait looks phenomenal guys it looks beautiful I'm telling you Sideshow is killing it with these portraits uh, right now I have the exclusive portrait with the um, flame neck pillow around her neck <laughs> i'm sorry it looks like a neck pillow but it really doesn't when you actually have it in hand um 
it looks actually not too bad. I, you know, to me, when I first saw this statue um, or the prototype of this uh, a statue, I thought that the flames were unnecessary. I'm not sure why they kind of put the flames around her neck and around her, her hand. Cause it's like, she's like transforming into uh, the Phoenix, but I don't know. It just doesn't look like a really good transformation, but seriously guys, that is a minor gripe because all honesty, when you get this exclusive portrait, you're going to be just blown away in how good this portrait looks. And you totally forget about the neck pillow flame that's around her neck. But as you can see, it looks really good. I really love the sculpt of her hair. As you can see, it kind of flows really well. And you know, we all know Jean Grey has that long flowy hair, you know, and they really capture that with this, with this portrait or with this hair sculpt, should I say. But yeah, overall, man, I am really digging this statue. It looks phenomenal. I fell in love with this statue in New York Comic Con. And uh, I'm really happy that I'm able to uh, you know, pick her up and add her to my collection. Uh, before we wrap things up, I'm gonna swap out her exclusive portrait and put on the collector's edition and kind of show you guys how that looks. And I'm gonna take out the flaming hands and put on the collector's edition hands. Kind of show you guys how she looks without the flames coming at her. And here she is with the collector's edition portrait in hands. And like I mentioned before, Sideshow is seriously killing it with these female portraits. As you can see with this collector's edition head, wow, just wow, I mean, she looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And if you are an X-Men fan or an X-Men collector or a collector of this X-Men line by Sideshow, Jean Grey is a must own in your collection. She looks beautiful and probably the best Jean Grey statue I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments uh, below what you guys think about this uh, Jean Grey statue. But yeah, I am seriously, seriously happy with this statue and how it turned out. And I can't wait to actually get the rest of the line. Uh, I'm still trying to save up for the Cable statue, the Sabretooth, the Cyclops. Oh, man, I really want the rest of the X-Men line because this X-Men line is probably the best line Sideshow has put out. All right guys, so that wraps it up. Thank you guys again for checking out my unboxing and review video of this beautiful Jean Grey statue. I really appreciate it. And I do want to mention, if you guys want to support this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button and ding that notification bell. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys again. And remember to do what you love, love what you collect. Take care guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.